Okay, welcome Robert. You are the founder of Internet of Coins. Um, I'm checking, uh, I've checked your website and I think it's going to be a really interesting but also tough uh, conversation uh, because when I look at the about section of your website, they say we're aiming to make the cryptosphere a decentralized, self-sustaining economy by implementing inter-blockchain connectivity. So I guess most of our viewers have no idea what's that about. So uh, what are you doing? And, and good morning. Good morning. Yes. Um, and thank you for interviewing us. So. Um, first of all, um, I'm not just the one founder. Joachim de Koning is my partner. We uh, founded uh, Interfequence together last year, 2014. Um, what we're aiming to do is, um, let's go, it, uh, go through it step by step. Uh, decentralized means that we're, um, our network we're trying to create is um, hosted by all the participants, just like BitTorrent. So if you uh, want to exchange money, uh, or any other form of value, it's hosted by, by the persons and not by a centralized uh, institution like a bank or an exchange. Uh, Self-sustaining means that, well, because of the crowd, uh, the crowd carries uh, the, the, uh, the possibilities, uh, the opportunities to, uh, to transfer um, value. Um, implementing inter-blockchain connectivity, that's something uh, new within the crypto sphere. <laughs> In the fact that we are uh, trying to create an, um, a system in which you can transfer your yens for dollars if you want to. Okay, and, 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 and concrete, uh, what is the solution that you're offering? Uh, you always mentioned something in your answer, but maybe in, in, uh, in one of 40 characters. <laughs> it's a, um, it's an, um, a piece of software, uh, which we, it's a client you install with an easy to use interface, which allows you to um, uh, just set up which forms of value you host, so which currencies or, or, or assets and which you would like to receive. And you just have it your way, it's, it's automated. So it just uh, search the network uh, autom automatically for the lowest fee to, uh, to exchange your, uh, your value for some other type of value. Okay, and, and, give you and can, can, you, can you give me also an example of, 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 of uh, a user, uh, uh, what to do with it? Well, for instance, uh, bec because you're a node in the network uh, and you're, you're bringing, uh, you want to exchange some form of value, you're bringing some value as well, uh, you can set it up uh, as a transfer node, which means that, let's say I put my dollars um, in the network and I, I, uh, I want to exchange them for yens, and so other people want to, want to have dollars and exchange them for yens. Um, I can put up uh, a fee, so when they are searching the network, to exchange their, uh, their, um, their yens for dollars. My node will be selected and the, the money will be transferred. Um, that from then on, I will have both dollars and yens in my account, but for the same value, plus the um, transfer fee. Okay, so cool. That's, the, that's a business model for the user then, uh, if they want to uh, uh, contribute. Okay, and, and, and uh, how did you guys come up with, with the idea? Uh, actually, because we noticed it was lacking um, th th since the the, the the inception of, um, of Bitcoin. There has been a lot of derivatives, you know, um, numerous uh, type of alternative cur alternative uh, currencies, and also uh, the asset market has exploded. Um, but the thing is, there most of them are centralized and uh, they form f types of islands between the different exchanges. So let's say you've got um, uh, to make an example, uh, <laughs> uh, is that uh, let's say you've got um, a stock in um, or a share in um, KLM, the the uh, the uh, uh, what it's the company, a Dutch company, uh, and it's uh, listed on the uh, Amsterdam Stock Exchange. Uh, but actually, you want a st uh, share of Google listed at the Nasdaq. Uh, you would have to switch your current uh, share of KLM uh, to euros and euros will be transferred and switched to dollars and the dollars will be switched to the stock on, uh, in Google. Uh, but we, we, what we want to do is, okay, connect them so you can just switch your shares directly. That's, uh, we want to uh, take out those steps. Okay, so, so, uh, so, uh, so you're making the, the, the process much, much uh, uh, easier. Easier to use, uh, yeah. Much shorter. Convenient, okay. yeah. And uh, what is the, 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 the added failure to, to make it decentralized? Well, it's, the thing is, um, it's, if it's not decentralized, you're introducing a single point of failure. Uh, we've seen that within the cryptosphere at one of the um, 
Uh, one of the prime examples is uh, MT Gox. It was a, an, an exchange. Uh, where people had a lot of accounts there with a lot of money on it uh, in the form of cryptocurrencies. Um, and when it crashed, uh, th they lost their, in uh, their investment, so that's to say. Um, and by making it decentralized, uh, you're hosting your money. Uh, and uh, it's only transferred uh, through trustless nodes, which means that you don't have to trust people in order to use it. You, know, you don't have to entrust your money to another person. Yes. So, and we're thinking, okay, why isn't that the default way to do it? Yeah, why, why? Yeah. <laughs> Look at the design of internet uh, as of now. Um, uh, why isn't a uh, uh, connection, uh, HTTP connection, always encrypted? Uh, why was it, uh, it was created, with, uh, wh back when they designed it, it, it wasn't the standard. Yeah? It wasn't, the, oh, what, what kind of type of use will we, uh, will this be, uh, what, what type of applications will this be used for? And uh, by now they're realizing, okay, we have to increase uh, the, the uh, op opportunities by, by implementing uh, safety measures, for instance. Yeah, yeah okay, so, 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 so you're also designing a new standard. Uh, well, the network itself, yeah, the network itself is, is uh, com uh, consists of uh, current standards combined, and we are uh, also uh, developing uh, some some forks uh, to to make sure it's uh, safe. Um, yeah, but it's uh, as a backend, it's uh, yeah, we will, uh, we aim to have have it become the standard for money transfer. Uh, yes. Okay, and and money, but uh, but also broader value tr uh, value transfer. So also the physical money and digital money. So different kind of currency. So you are bringing all the values together in one platform that people can exchange value on the platform. Is that what? Uh, yes. Yeah. The um, uh, it's bringing people together in the sense that, um, like I said, if you're hosting, um, if you've got assets for uh, company A, but you're you're interested in company B, they should be able to exchange. I mean, eventually the the value uh, that they're trying to exchange um, doesn't have to be different. I mean, if I've got a yen or I've got a dollar, uh, they both represent a form of value in euros. And if that's the same value, you can exchange them yeah, in the amount. So uh, that's, that's how it operates. It has a, a ledger on top of the others, uh, which makes sure that the exchanges are uh, performed um, fair. Okay, cool. And 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 uh, so by decentralizing, uh, uh, it makes it more stable and safe. So not one hack can 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 uh, have the result that everybody loses its value. Um, and but also like also talking about Bitcoin, many people are all saying, okay, but it's also used much for for people who uh, are doing bad things. So the, so the black markets. So uh, is it also possible with uh, with uh, with your platform or or? Y yes, and it's it, with any type of. Um independent platform it's of course uh, people will use it for other uh, yeah, other other uses uh, we will um, the thing is the inventor of uh, mail didn't expect <laughs> it to be used for uh, anything other than writing a letter to your loved one uh, same goes for when the uh, development of the ARPANET and eventually internet I mean <coughs> uh, any form of information or value exchange can be used for other incentives. That's, uh, yes. Yes, yeah. Yeah, so what you'll say, okay, uh, th these things will happen, uh, but the fact is that you don't have to uh, change your default because of that, uh, because, yeah, uh, uh, it's happening everywhere. Well, no, uh, but in a sense, w w it's, a f it's a piece of technique. Yeah, it's, you, you're, it's, it's, um, it's a technical innovation. Uh, that's what how we see, uh, look at it. Um, and it's not, like, what you're doing is if you, it's not possible to uh, constrict it in such a way that you uh, can filter out anything. I mean, let's say I would go to uh, Kickstarter, Indiegogo, or another platform, and I would um, come with a great, uh, come up with a great idea, and people invest, and eventually it, yeah, uh, if there isn't uh, enough due diligence, for instance, it could be, it could happen. I would use it for something bad. Yeah. <laughs> um, you, you can't prevent that. I mean, it's you can put in some measures, but you're not always. Uh, look, when when you're u using an exchange or when you're using um, a current form of uh, value transfer system, um, 
it's, uh, the government can impose you and, and, and you know, can uh, take you out if needed. Uh, can, uh, can freeze your uh, current accounts. Um, if needed, I mean, they, they would it, uh, it's, it's not up to us to decide that, you know. That's what, that's what our yeah. opinion, opinion is on <coughs> that. So. Yeah, okay. And, and, and uh, what effect will, will these techniques will have on the existing order? So like, like uh, uh, banks, uh, uh, is it a threat or is it a added product or, or how do you see that? Because you're also working at a bank. Uh, yes, uh, that's my daytime job. <laughs> um, now we're, um, uh, we see uh, banks always will have their uh, uses. Uh, we see the network as something existing next to banks. I mean, uh, banks have, for instance, have a lot of um, uh, liquidity, for instance. Uh, let's say I've got, I want, uh, uh, exchange, I want to exchange a million euros via the network. Not a lot of people would have a million euros ready in their account to exchange for mine, uh, for my dollars, for instance. And so what it will do is, um, eventually it will be like uh, several thousands of users who will exchange their dollars for euros and uh, eventually they will come back to me. That's how it works. If you want it done uh, immediately, and, and you want uh, you know you want liquidity uh, available, then you go to a bank or, an, or another centralized player, which will allow you to exchange it immediately. So, no. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so, uh, so everybody adds value at, uh, at a different part of uh, the questions, yeah. and and maybe it's also uh, because I'm also thinking. Uh, like uh, of course, there's also yeah. Yeah, yeah, but, uh, but there's also the question: uh, What is a bank? And and, and I had a discussion with a guy who found, uh, who started a crowdfunding platform, and I asked him, "Okay, will crowdfunding uh, 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 beat the banks?" And, and he said, "Okay, Martijn, but what is a bank?" So because uh, when we close down the offices and when we close down all the cash machines and we only have an app, is it still a bank? So I think it's also the way we think about what a bank is will change uh, change in the future. And but uh, what I think is, is quite challenging for you because uh, uh, you really got a great story, but it's also a really technical story, and it's also a really because I also had an interview with Maiten Fields. It's also on my YouTube channel. He's the, the founder of of Lazus. It's a decentralized ride sharing platform. I watched his presentations. It was it's, it's, it was a presentation. It was a, pre a presentation of two hours. The first hour I I understand what he was saying. The second hour I had no idea, but I but I had the gut feeling about okay. I have no idea w what this is about, but I know the potential is huge. And I think I, I, I have the same feeling with your story, but at what way? Because um, uh, uh, it's quite far to reach the, the big audience. So at what way are you going to make? Uh, are you going to build a bridge between what you're doing right now and what you're going to do to reach the full potential of your uh, of your platform? Uh, well, the thing is, first of all, the um in our case, the Internet of Coins project is, um, uh, we, we separated it from our uh, commercial uh, incentives. Uh, so it's a different, uh, we're setting up a different foundation for it. Uh, and our commercial branch, MetaSync, just uh, takes on assignments next to that. Um, well, first of all, <laughs> we've been in contact with an animator, because so we're, we're trying to uh, make it as, uh, due to uh, perfect our story, let's say to uh, also allow it to, uh, uh, be uh, understood by anyone. <laughs> uh, as of now, we're still uh, we're still pinpointing that. Um, and of course, uh, with any uh, decentralized uh, network, or uh, the uh, eventually the biggest challenge would be adoption. You know, it's uh, uh, but by the fact that we are offering a in our case a de facto standard um, standardized network which is uh, safe and anonymous and uh, allows you to be in control. Uh, we're trying to translate those values uh, into the, the, the story. Um, and of course, eventually we, 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 you will need some support. Um, we've been in, co in contact with the Startup Bootcamp. We pitched uh, at one of their rounds in uh, Utrecht in April. Um, and what you said, l just like what you experienced, a, a lot of people un didn't understand what we were saying, but we were, we were far too technical. <laughs> we were in the sense that our pitch was uh, mostly uh, about, uh, uh, about what it would offer in technical terms, but it's, uh, we were wrong in that, uh, of course. Um, but eventually that you will need some support to, to make it out in the public, you know, to, uh, to make it available and that people are aware of it, you can use this, and there it is. Uh, so that what we're that's what we're doing by visiting conferences and by setting up contacts with, uh, well, for instance, incubators, or to see if we can 
co create this. Okay, so so so, so I think your, your biggest challenge is now to uh, to get the story uh, to, uh, to translate it uh, 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 into a language uh, that that that's that's, uh, that's uh, uh, most people do yeah. understand. <laughs> yeah, but for now we're uh, of course we're still in development. Uh, we we started last yeah. year and we got an, uh, an alpha working now and with the command line interface. Uh, so we still need to we still need to build a graphical user interface. So. Uh, Okay, cool. And 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 you also mentioned uh, you're also having another company, MetaSync. Uh, so the 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 Internet of Coins project uh, uh, is an open source project uh, where you're not making any money uh, off, but it's a, a really beautiful showcase uh, to to show uh, uh, what you guys can do. Uh, so so what's MetaSync for a company? MetaSync is a, is a company in which we, as as all the developers of Internet of Coins, uh, also take part uh, in which we take on assignments for developing. Uh, smart, smart contract solutions uh, or other blockchain applications um, and we what we do is um, we try to work as much open source as possible there as well and we reuse uh, some of our open source code then for the project for Int of coins I mean if of coins is a project which uh, is non-profit and once released uh, where we won't control it as in a sense that we bring updates to the client and uh, they can people can install it we bring modules for different types of assets um, but that's not our business business case. Uh, eventually, the, the company itself is the business. Case. Um, so that's how we're. Um, uh, that's how we, we decided to split it. It's, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, I think it's a good thing. And 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 uh, and, and with MetaSync, can you give a concrete f example of, of 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 what solution you can uh, offer for your client? Uh, well, for instance, uh, one of our assignments was to um, well, it was one one of the. Uh, exchanges was to build a um, uh, automatic trade bot uh, recently, so they wanted to uh, make sure that um, uh, for their they, they offer uh, they offer a um, um, solution to their clients to have their uh, stocks and their shares automatically traded via the system via the network. Uh, we we built an, a, a bot for them, so they can uh, select it and it's uh, they they they. Keep their uh, what it, it keeps watch <laughs> on the values of their uh, investments, so they can automatically be traded uh, once once they hit a certain uh, uh, certain uh, number, certain value. Uh, that's one of the uh, things that we're also currently in talks about a um, um, pilot on commodity trading. Um, remember that if, if you're um, uh, let's say you've got uh, Cocoa, for instance. <laughs> Cocoa is, you know, it comes from, uh, uh, for instance, uh, Southern America uh, via, via boats. It's delivered to the Netherlands. Uh, but in the meantime, it's already traded multiple times via different partners. And um, uh, but most of that is uh, still done the old-fashioned way in the sense that uh, you know, it be, uh, it's, it's transferred via uh, emails or faxes. And, you know, it's there's a lot of human effort in there. But uh, the, you can... In a lot of sense, you can condition the um, um, you can automate the conditions in there. If there's like five parties involved for the eventual transfers to take place uh, before it's uh, it arrives and it's uh, and people uh, can pick it up, um, you can put in conditions by which you're uh, via the blockchain uh, you can reach consensus amongst those five parties at the same time because the blockchain you know updates. Uh, on all uh, locations, uh, so you don't have to manually confirm in the meantime what happens. So that's uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of uh, uh, cut to be cost there, and a lot of uh, efforts to be gained. Uh, but th that's just one example, and that's uh, I know uh, I know people who are working on that as well. So um, uh, we're trying to create a proof of concept for that. But uh, there's a yeah. lot of applications. Uh, and, and yeah. And and uh, like when there are many clients, uh, how are you going to, to uh, do? You also have some agreements with, with your partners about how you're going to make sure that you're going to have enough time to develop the the the, the Internet of Coins uh, dot org. Uh, because of course, when many clients came and you've got lots of paid work for that, uh, did you also make some agreements about that? Yeah, we we work with a, a list of freelancers as well, uh, which uh, which help us when needed. Um, We've got uh, people from Ukraine and from uh, we've got a Russian guy and a German guy, and they um, 
whenever we um, we have an assignment and we need to uh, there's a deadline too tight for uh, for the core team. So okay, uh, come and assist, and uh, we we pay them by the by uh, via uh, per assignment. So we can uh, split the efforts. Uh, until, until now, it's going okay. it's going well. So. Okay, cool. And 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 uh, what are your plans for next year? Uh, first, you already mentioned okay uh, the communication uh, to really get with an animation uh, the story straight, uh, uh, so you can reach a, a much broader audience uh, with your story. Uh, are there more other things planned? Yeah, the, the animation, just the communication, is an instrument. Uh, it's uh, but it's, um, we'll keep on campaigning via the conferences, but um, we're hoping to reach beta in the upcoming year, uh, so we'll, uh, people will all be allowed to uh, be able to test it. Uh, as of now, it's running on closed test nets. Um, uh, but so we can actually, uh, from then on, people can participate uh, in the sense that they can actually uh, give feedback, you know? So that's what we're aiming for. So, uh, okay, and, and, and last week, yeah, 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 you got a grant from the uh, SEDN uh, fund. It's the Dutch uh, internet fund. Uh, so uh, um, why, did it, uh, why, did it, why did they pick you all out of the other uh contestants? Uh, well, we... Um, uh, we g explain to them that what we're doing is, um, I think, because in from their point of view, um, they want to imp they want to um, uh, what, what they want to um, uh, improve internet technology in a broad sense, uh, and also in a sense that um, it's not just a development, but also uh, from an ethical standpoint point of view. And that's also beca because we're a foundation and we're building this for, for the client, yeah, for, for the consumer. Uh, and we're not, you know, we're, we're not uh, picking any fees of it, you know, uh, and we're trying to use the most up-to-date uh, safety standards uh, to, imp to implement. Um, I think that in combination as, as a whole makes them, uh, got, got them interested. And that's, uh, that's what okay, I've cool. understood uh, exactly. when they interviewed us. Yeah. Yeah, and congratulations Thanks. on that. And uh, thank you for the interview. I wish you good luck with, uh, with, uh, w uh, uh, with all your projects in, uh, uh, the following year. And uh, please send me the link to the animation went online. And I will also put it uh, 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 on my you website. Will. And uh, have a good day. Good luck with your time.